Welcome back to this week's episode of EVTV. I'm Emmanuel. And I'm Justin. Recently, there's been a new coffee shop open in Gypsum. It's even run by Eagle Valley alumni Gracie Rounds. For more, let's go to Gracie Rounds Coffee Shop. Gracie's Coffee Shop is a new coffee shop in the area, so what made her set up a new shop in the community? The whole point of this is to have a quality coffee option in Gypsum because that's something that I wanted. Now it's here, so I want people to be able to enjoy it. But there are plenty of coffee shops in the valley. What makes Gracie's Coffee unique? Um, I think my coffee shop is unique, um, number one, for the valley because there's no other drive through coffee in the valley unless you're going to Burger King or whatever, so <laughs> I think this is kind of unique for the area. Um, the second would be is that this model of a drive through only coffee shop is really popular actually in Alaska. So that's all that people have up there for coffee is these little drive throughs And that's because in the winter it's so cold you don't want to get out of your car. And I feel like Colorado is kind of the same thing. We're up high in the mountains and people want to be um, getting coffee without having to come out of their car. So I think it's a nice option to have the drive through in the back but also have the walk-up option in the front for if high schoolers are coming over or in the spring and summer if anybody wants to sit on our picnic tables. So yeah. Future plans of the business, um, I've been thinking about this a lot, would be to expand Gracie's Coffee into like a multi-location business. Um, so having one in all the places that I love in the US. I'd love for people to tell like classmates and stuff to come during their off hours and even the younger kids, if they wanted to walk over like in their lunch break or in any periods that they have off and especially seniors and things like that, because I feel like the high school would benefit so much from having something and it doesn't have to be just coffee. We have a lot of alternative drinks, a lot of pastries and things like that. And to come over and have really some quality treats and snacks and drinks and things would be like a nice thing. Um, and you'd be supporting local, which is awesome. This has been Justin and Emmanuel for Eagle Valley Student Media. Whoa, Blake, where you been? I just trained the state cross country meet. Really? How'd you do? I didn't win, but Eagle Valley's own Jake Drever got fifth. Wow, I didn't know someone placed that high. This next story is about Jake's cross country and state experience. At the 2022 Colorado State Cross Country Meet, Jake Drever, racing for the Eagle Valley High School Devils, placed fifth out of 153 boys. The state experience was really cool. It was really fun. I, um, it was probably the best I've seen it in a long time. And, you know, going to state was really cool because everyone there was ready to race and our team was just really excited to be there as well. I felt great the whole way through. At the beginning of the race, I took it a little bit slower because I knew that I operate better when I can push through the second and third mile. So the first mile I was in 40th place and then the second mile I made up 29 places and then the third I made up like six or seven. But I felt great the whole way through and it was really nice to be able to pass people with a lot of energy. The most memorable part about my state experience was turning into the arena um, in the finish where everybody was watching and you're che getting cheered on and the announcer was yelling your name and that was really cool. I think we all, I told everyone to smile at the beginning so I think we were all very excited and everyone was ready to race. But why did Jake become such a good runner? I started running in elementary school. One of my coaches invited me out and I kind of just stuck with it. I just started on a little track team. And cross country is family to me. It's I've developed a lot of good relationships over the time of my years and just inside of school and outside of school. I have friends from other schools that run as well and I've done a lot of camps so it's really helped create a family bond between everyone across the nation. This has been Matt and Blake reporting for Eagle Valley Student Media. I think our cross country team might be the best we've ever had and probably one of the best sports we've ever had in a long time. Man, I sure am hungry, Jaden. Me too, man. Where do you want to eat and how much money are we going to spend? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure Gilliam Wernis has the answer. I have a question! I have a question! I have a question! Stop! Hey friends, my name is Gilliam Wordis, and today we're crossing the street and we're gonna hit up Come and Go and ask some people why they're spending so much money at Come and Go and why they're eating at Come and Go instead of the school. Let's check it out. Where are you going right now? Come and Go. Come and Go. Why are you going to Come and Go? To get food. Why are you eating at Come and Go instead of the school? Uh, because I want candy. He wants candy. Where are you going right now? Come and Go. 
Why are you going to come and go? Because oh, I'm hungry. He's hungry. Um, why? Hungry. If you're hungry, why don't you eat at the school? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, I do eat at the school, but today, it was not it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know how much money you're gonna spend at Come and Go? Like five dollars. Okay, five dollars. Your friend? Um, I'm going to Come and Go. Por qué? Porque sí, we... To eat. <laughs> to eat? I mean, yeah, I guess. Uh, do you know how much money you're gonna spend there? Depending on what I get. Well, how much? Like five dollars. Why are you not eating at the school? Bro, the school lunch is bad. It's going right now. To Congo. I mean, what? to Akahi. To Akahi. Why are you guys going there? For food. Why are you eating there instead of the school? Because the school food. Is <laughs> the school food is gross. Okay, great. Um, how much money are you guys gonna spend at Akahi? I don't know. A lot, guys. Uh, twenty-five dollars. Three dollars and ninety-nine cents. I spent a total of six dollars and ninety-eight cents. Eleven with forty-seven cents. Four seventeen. Eleven. One forty-nine. Four dollars and twenty-nine cents. Eight bucks. Eight bucks. Four dollars. Fifteen bucks. I'm twelve bucks. Wow, over a hundred and forty-seven dollars in one lunch, and that's just the people we interviewed. That's a lot of money people are spending outside of school. This has been Jaden, Will, and Iza with Eagle Valley Student Media. Thanks for watching this week's episode of EVTV. Make sure to subscribe and follow Eagle Valley TV on TikTok.